Well, I finally got my SD card reader working, so you guys are going to get to see some river video. I didn't dive a ton this year. I think we went out six times. I generally like to talk about the bait fish populations and levels in the river. The truth is, we didn't get out early or often enough to see a lot of bait. But I, I do like to talk about the goby since they are around all year. And the population really seems to have stabilized over the last several years. For the first few years they were in the system, we saw wild population swings from year to year. Now, the numbers are much lower and more consistent. Overall, it was a good walleye year, and we saw some nice fish, some beautiful fish, really. And it's always nice to see them in the river swimming around and coming up to you. We had a hard time keeping a good read on the river and where the fish were going to be on our, our drifts or lines that we run. We go into a dive, dive for a half hour, not see much, change our starting point, maybe only 30, 40 yards, and see all kinds of fish. So it was a real hit and miss proposition. Perch are tough to film. They're very exhaust bubble sensitive, meaning they'll take off at the slightest vibration from your exhale. So you have to kind of hold your spot and hold your breath not to spook them. Carp is another fish that is really hard to film for the same reasons. So if you're watching this video, you want to see some muskies. It's sort of what we do. It's the fish we mainly look for underwater. And this year wasn't great. Like I say, a little more time in the water, I probably would have had better results. But we did get some really nice takes, and uh, I'll show you a few here. Swim up to give me a kiss there. Over the years that I've been making these videos, it seems like the walleye population has generally increased. Of course, peak years and years that are a little off, but as a general trend, we see more walleye in the upper river than we did, say, 20 years ago. The opposite is true for muskies. We just don't see as many as we did 20 years ago. Now, I've been diving this river for 25 years, and I've been filming under here for 20. And there's a few things I've always wanted to see. Kind of diving bucket list things, if you will. And I, I realize that my time of doing this is limited. Some of my friends I did this with have passed away or, or left the sport due to health reasons. And you only get so long. And I was beginning to accept that I just wasn't going to see some of the things I really wanted to. And then it happened. I was on a dive this year, and I come across the situation. I always wanted to see a cormorant underwater uh, going uh, attacking a fish, and I got to see it, and you're going to see it right here coming up next. And uh, it's pretty cool. Well, I ruined that bird's lunch plan, that's for sure. That's okay. I think there's way too many of the things in there doing a lot of harm out there, but uh, definitely always wanted to get this shot.
So uh, I think I scared the hell out of them right here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video. And as far as next year, if I can, I'll probably give it a shot. Take care and good fishing to y'all.